Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm gonna show you how you can extend Sketch 3 with all sorts of custom UI kits, downloadable Sketch project templates, and all sorts of things like that from a really great Sketch resource. So keep watching, we're gonna show you that now. So now that you've become a master of Sketch 3, you're using the Sketch Toolbox, you're pulling in plugins, you're utilizing all sorts of custom artboard symbols and all sorts of great stuff, what's the next step to becoming a better Sketch user? Well, there's all sorts of things, but one of my favorite resources for Sketch Anything is SketchAppSources.com. Now you can come on here and not only get access to tutorials and articles and things like that, what's great about here is that they have all of these great UI kits. Now, some of these things like the Apple iOS 7 uh, UI kit, you can download a sample or you can purchase it, um, and this is going to take you to uh, another website. In this case, it's uh, UI8.net, and here you can purchase this entire kit. Um, or you can come and look at the free only resources. So like the Android upcoming L release UI kit has a free download where you can download this entire uh, UI kit and it's awesome. So actually let's go ahead and download that just to check it out. So I'm going to open up this sketch file. Um, I don't have Rockwell but that's okay. Let's open this anyways. We shouldn't really need Rockwell anyways because that's not an Android font. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And here we have this fantastic Android L UI kit. Um, so not only is this, I mean, the Android L is just absolutely beautiful interface anyways, but we have this just totally excellent uh, UI kit that we can use to start off our own material design projects. And you'll even notice they have, if we insert, they do have custom symbols. So uh, it might not be complete yet. We just have switch on, switch off. We have status bar, navigation bar. Uh, but if you need anything else, you can always create your own custom symbols out of things in this UI kit. But it should give you a nice jumping off point to know exactly what to do for Android L style material design mockups. So I should note that we're not actually affiliated in any way with Sketch App Sources. It's just a really great resource. In fact, our videos aren't even yet featured on the tutorials and tips. Maybe they will be at some point, but not right now. So just check it out. There's just tons and tons of stuff to go through and you can look and evaluate their technique and see what other people are doing to make really great things. So for instance, this heart-shaped box, you wanna see and know how they make this. You can simply download it and tear apart the sketch file and figure out exactly what they did. Cool, so check it out, that's Sketch App Sources. I'm gonna put the link in the description of the video and you can go to that whenever you want. If there's a Sketch resource that you really like, maybe even it's just a particular resource on Sketch App Sources, or maybe it's on another website, share it in the comments, share it with everybody. We would love to see what you found because this is just what I found. So check it out and get to work with Sketch 3. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Facebook or Twitter. We love to hear from you. You can now get more out of Level Up Tuts with Level Up Pro. For $8.99 a month or $95 a year, you can get access to downloadable videos, a private user forum, uh, being able to vote on new content. You'll have an ad-free experience. You'll even get access to live code examples for all of the new videos. And over time, our extensive back catalog as well. So check out Level Up Pro, sign up today to get some extra features and help support Level Up Tuts. As always, this is Scott, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.